Hello, Biotube. With 86 Optimus definitely being the peak of the Studio Series 86 line, I wanted to look back at my favorite Studio Series 86 figure before Optimus. While Studio Series 86 Optimus is the ideal tribute to Diaclone, 86 Perceptor does the same for the other toy line most Transformers are from, Microchange. A greatly underappreciated toy line. Much like Optimus's R missile launchers, Perceptor's lenses are omitted, so he's not a functional microscope. Something he shares with the retro reissue. But as far as getting the look down, he does a great job. I feel the gimmick that is more essential to his identity as a microchange figure is his compatibility with Micromen, or in the modern sense, Core Class. Which as you can see he has no problem being piloted by his fellow microchange friend, Bumblebee. Although the standard tank configuration for Perceptor, the original, would be to have his arms and legs flat so he can roll. Still, the essential Microman gimmick is retained, and that's what matters. Despite being as poseable as any Studio Series 86 figure, at least at the deluxe price point, people get caught up on these treads because they are screen inaccurate, even though there really isn't anything calling attention to them. But then again, these treads are really what made this figure for me. The fact that Perceptor has two exceptionally different alternate modes, one small and harmless, and the other large and violent makes him an exceptionally interesting triple changer. Very much so my favorite triple changer. It's worth noting a major inspiration for Perceptor was Armored Trooper Votoms. And the vintage can almost pull off the pose, but he needs a little help. No gearbox, just a hole where it should be. Reminds me of Bionicle 2023. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. But they really did a great job capturing all that detail from the original Save for the stuff inside the chest, but you gotta keep it screen accurate. And yeah, the biggest difference between them, obviously, is the face. Because they wanted him to be more personable in the cartoon. Imagine being. And of course you have the hollowness in the arms of the new one. Always a standout feature. But honestly, it's a lot less hollowness than you'd expect. Hasbro loves to cut corners, after all. And of course you can combine him with Cog to form this abomination microscope man. I think Microchange is a very underrated line. Obviously not as cool as the 160 scale world of Diaclone, but then again it's really cool to have 1 to 1 scale figures. I mean, what other Super Robot series gave us so many 1 to 1 scale figures? Imagine being. Hope you liked it. Links below.